Okay, so back. So this, this is just a voiceover because I forgot to add the audio in my video. So let's start. If you're having a problem to increase or extend your C drive, I have a solution because sometimes you have a healthy recovery partition because between your C drive and the volume that you want to add into the C drive. Okay. I don't have, I have a similar case, but believe me, this will work for you too because I don't have any D drive next to my C drive. I have it, but the disks are different because I have an SSD as my Windows drive, 128 GB. So, but I have a healthy recovery partition in here. You can see in here at the last, in the disk one in the last, okay? You don't have any delete option for that. When you click it, it says help. Don't have any delete options, okay? So what you have to do is just follow my steps. We will do some commands in the command prompt for the CMD to delete this partition. I have placed all the commands that I will use in the CMD in my description. You have to just go and copy the description, the commands, and place in a document or uh, notepad. You have to run this command prompt as an administrator, okay? It will ask the permission, give it the permission, yes. Okay, now we have to go to access the disk partition mode. You have to write disk part. It will access the disk partition mode. Now you enter disk partition mode, okay? What you have to do is write list disk. It will give you all the disk connected to your device. I have two devices, two disks connected to my device, zero and one disk. Uh, the partition, recovery partition is in the disk one, okay? So I will write select disk one, okay? Uh, you can write your number that is your disk, okay? Now what you have to do is just list disk list partition it will all list all the partitions in your disk okay so you have different partitions i have already deleted the seven and eight partition so it's not showing the healthy recovery partitions of the number seven and eight so i have so how will you know that which partition you have to delete what is your recovery partition it also names recovery partition you can know if you have more than one recovery partition how will you know which one is your recovery partition that you have to delete just go back to the management panel, disk management panel that we were using before this. You can press Alt and Tab, or you can just click on it to go there. Bro, the left side. Okay. So here it is, 1.07 GB. You have to remember the size. You have to go just back to the CMD and just check out. The last one is with 1. Point something GBs. You have to right click, select this partition. What you have to write is select partition 9. In case you can have a different number, select partition number nine just let him write because i forgot to add my audio bro sorry really sorry for your late okay okay now it's selected now you have to write is delete partition override it will delete the selected partition and override is if you write the delete partition it will not execute the command you have to write delete partition override it will override every kind of the barrier that is provided by the authority and it will execute your command that is delete partition okay just you have to press enter and you're done Oola. let's see Bro, I'm doing very slow, <laughs> so I was talking then, so that's why it's very slow. Now, when you go back to there, you will see an, an unallocated space. See, you don't have, when you right click it, you can delete it or no, you can create a new simple volume or you can extend the volume before this. If this was the C drive and that was the unallocated space, you can extend the C drive two to twice, two times. Uh, one will, uh, once you will uh, add the add this unallocated space of some GBs into your C drive, or in case I have the G drive, okay. Uh, and then you will have to add the other unallocated space after that healthy recovery partition. So what you have to do is just right click the Fortnite G, the, that's my name of the drive. You can have the C in your case. Okay, you have to create, click the extra volume. You have to click next. Oh, uh, I forgot to show the, show you that it wasn't showing the extern option before this. Okay, so now it is increased 87.98 GPs. So if you have any question in your mind, just let me know in the description if you want to uh, if you want that i should help you do this just let me know i will help you through the team viewer i will take control of your pc and i will do all the stuff that you need thank you very much bye bye